Okay, today we're discussing ratios and proportions, which is worksheet number seven on page number thirty-one. Starting with question number one, divide dollar one zero five in the ratio four ratio three. So, like you've done in grade seven, you write one zero five dollars, and this represents total four five six seven four plus three seven parts. So, how many dollars? Would be represented by four parts. Cross multiply this four times one zero five is equals to x times seven. Then divide seven with this four into one zero five divided by seven. You should get sixty. Now to get the remaining part, you may just subtract these two values one zero five minus sixty, which should give us forty five. Question number two: Emmet and Barber share doll uh, share two forty grams of sweets in the ratio seven ratio three, which means if Emmet is getting seven sweets, then Barber is getting three grams. Sorry, not sweets. Three grams of sweets and seven grams of sweets. Calculate the amount Emmet receives. So, Emmet receives seven parts. So we write two forty grams, and two forty grams represent Ten parts. Seven plus three, ten. Then how many grams would be represented by seven parts? Cross multiply. Two forty times seven is equals to ten times x. Divide two forty times seven over ten, which should give us one sixty eight. Question number three. Martha divides dollar two forty between spending and saving in the ratio spending ratio saving is equals to seven ratio eight. That means that if she's spending dollar seven, then she's saving dollar eight. Calculate the amount Martha has for spending. So dollar two forty represents seven plus eight, which is fifteen parts. Calculate the amount that Martha. Has for spending. So, how many dollars will be allocated to these seven parts, or how many dollars will be allocated for spending? And spending is represented by seven parts in the ratio. Cross multiply to forty times seven is equals to x times fifteen. So, two forty times seven divided by fifteen, which should give us. Two forty times seven divided by fifteen, one one two. Question number four. Amol and Priya deliver six forty-five parcels in the ratio. Amol ratio Priya eleven ratio four. Calculate the number of parcels um, Amol delivers. So the same process. Six forty-five parcels represent the number eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Eleven plus four, which is fifteen. Calculate the number of parcel Amol Amol delivers. So x numbers of parcel will be delivered by Amol and The ratio is eleven. So cross multiply six forty five times eleven is equals to x times fifteen, and then six forty five times eleven divided by fifteen will give us seven four seventy three. Question number five. Emmet. Batuk and Chand share dollar thousand in the ratio eight, ratio seven, ratio five. Calculate the amount each receives. Now again, this means that if the first person is re receiving dollar eight, if Ahmed is receiving dollar eight, then Batuk is receiving dollar seven, and Chand is receiving dollar five. So, dollar thousand. Represent the total share, which is eight plus seven plus five, so twenty. And calculate the amount each receives. So let's first calculate Emmet's amount. His ratio is eight. 
क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई थाउजेंड टाइम्स एट इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स टाइम्स ट्वेंटी डिवाइड ट्वेंटी which gives us dollar 400 which is mh share next let's find ba batak share which will be 1000 represent 20 again and dollar y or batak share is represented by 7 ratio so 1000 times 7 divided by 20 directly will give us 350 so this is batuk share let me do the remaining working over here so now simply subtract the other two numbers 400 and and 350 from 1000 and we get 250 which is chance share Question number six. In 2015, the energy company divided its profits in the ratio stakeholder, ratio bonuses, ratio development five, ratio two, ratio six. In 2015, its profit were dollar three ninety million. Calculate the amount the company gave to the share shareholders. So this ratio is telling us that if Five million is allocated to shareholders, then two million is allocated for bonuses, and six million is allocated for development. So total amount is three ninety million, which is represented by ratio five plus two plus six, which is thirteen. And calculate the amount the company gave to the shareholders. So the shareholders. will get the dollars and that will be represented by this number 5 dollar x represented by this number 5 so cross multiply 390 million times 5 over 13 will give us 150 million Question number seven. Ralph and Susie share dollar fifty-seven in the ratio two ratio one. Calculate the amount Ralph receives. So simply, dollar fifty-seven represents two plus one three parts. Calculate the amount Ralph receives. So x dollar and two parts since Ralph's share is two. So cross multiply fifty-seven times two. Is equals to three x, and then fifty seven times two divided by three, which gives us thirty eight dollars. Part B. Ralph gives dollar two to Susie. So, initially Susie's share was fifty seven minus thirty eight, which gives us. 19 so the initial share was 38 ratio 19 but now he gives 2 dollars to suzy so the new share is 36 ratio 21 give your answer in simplest form we have to give ralph's money ratio suzy's money which is this but give the answer in uh, the simplest form divided by 3 we get 12 here and 7 here Answer for part B. Question number eight. Part A. A school has two forty students. The ratio of girls ratio boys is equals to twenty five ratio twenty three. Which means if there are twenty five girls in the school, then there are twenty three boys in the school. But the actual number is different. This is just the ratio. Part one. Show that the number of boys is one one five. So. Two uh, forty are the total number of students in the school, and the total ratio is twenty five plus twenty three, which is forty eight. We have to find the number of boys. So x and number of boys is represented by ratio twenty three. 
cross multiply and we will get 240 times 23 divided by 48 which should give us 115 part 1 part 2 one day there were 15 girls absent and 15 boys absent first we'll find the number of girls actual number of girls so 240 minus 115 which gives us 125 so there are 125 girls and ratio 115 boys so one day there were there are 15 girls absent and 15 boys absent so this will become 110 and this will become 100 subtract 15 from both the numbers uh, find the ratio of girls ratio boys and give your answer in simplest form so divide this with 10 and we get 11 ratio 10 Question number 9. Alex has dollar twenty and Bobby has dollar twenty five. Write down the ratio uh, ratio Alex money, ratio Bobby's money in the simplest form. So for part one, Alex has dollar twenty, ratio Bobby has dollar twenty five. Write this in the simplest form. So we simply divide both sides with five and we get four ratio five. Part two. Alex and Bobby each spend one-fifth of their money. Find the ratio of Alex remaining money, ratio Bobby's remaining money in the simplest form. So they both spend one-fifth of the money, which means Alex will spend um, 20 divided by 5, which is $4. And his remaining money will be 20 minus 4 which is dollar 16 and bobby will spend one fifth of 25 which is five dollars so he'll be left with 20 dollars and remaining will be 25 minus 5 which is 20 dollars so write this remaining money so I am going to clear most of the screen. So I have $16 left for Alex and $20 left for Bobby. So 16 ratio 20 has to be written in its simplest form. So divide both sides with 4. So we are left with 4 ratio 5. Part 3. Alex and Bobby each spend $1.16. So initially they had 16 ratio 20. Both of them spend $4. So we are left with 12 ratio 16. Write this in the simplest form. Divide both sides with 3. Sorry, 4. And we are left with 3 ratio 4. Question number 10. The Martinis family spend dollar one fifty in the ratio fuel, ratio meal, ratio gift, eleven, ratio sixteen, ratio three. Show that dollar fifteen is spent on gifts. So they spend a total of one fifty dollars, which will be represented by parts eleven plus sixteen plus thirty, which makes thirty parts total. So show that they spend dollar fifteen on gifts. Gifts is represented by three parts. So three parts will represent X dollars. Cross multiply one fifty times three over thirty, which will give give us fifteen dollars. So we've shown that part two. The family buys two gifts. The first gift cost eight point two five. So if the first gift costs 8.25 then the second gift will cost 15 minus 8.25 15 minus 8.25 which gives us 6.75 uh, give your answer in the simplest form so simply in your calculators enters 8.25 divided by 6.25 and then press the SD button sorry 8.25 divided by 6.75 and then press the sd button and we get 11 
ratio 9. Question number 11. A company makes compost by mixing loom, sand and coir in the following ratio 7, ratio 2, ratio 3. How much loom is there in a 72 liters bag of compost? So part 1. 72 liters represents 7 plus 2 plus 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So how much loom is there? Loom is represented by 7 parts. So 7 and x liters. Cross multiply this. We get 72 times 7 divided by 12 which gives us 42 liters of loom. Part 2. In a small bag of compost there is 13.5 liters of coir. So we write 13.5 liters ratio 3. How much compost is there in the bag? So compost was represented by 12 parts. So 12 parts and x or y liter. So 13.5 times 12 divided by 3 will give us 54. So 54 liters of compost question number 12 the factory produces bird food made with sunflower seed millet and maize the part a the amount of sunflower seeds millet and maize are in the ratio 5 ratio 3 ratio 1 how much millet is there in 15 kg of bird food so for part 1 15 kg is represented by 5 plus 3 plus 1 9 parts. How much millet is there in 15 kgs of bird food? So millet is represented by the ratio 3. So 3 and x kgs. Cross multiply 15 times 3 divided by 9 and we get 5 kgs. Part 2. In a small bag of bird food there is 60 grams of sunflower seeds. So 60 is represented by ratio 5. What is the mass of bird food in the small bag? So bird food was represented by 9 parts ratio y. Cross multiply 60 times 9 divided by 5 which is 60 times 9 divided by 5 Sorry, 60 times 9 divided by 5 which is 108 that's all for today do your homework for today i'll mention that on the whatsapp group and stay safe stay indoors Allah